What's cooking guys? Background noise in your audio clips can be quite annoying, but there's actually a few ways that you can fix it so you can turn something that sounds like this. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one Into something like this. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. Let's get into it. So when you listen to this clip, I'm just gonna turn off my music layer. May you embrace one another. You hear this very low end rumble. It's that wind noise. It is the most prominent wind noise and it's very common background noise when it comes to audio clips. And the first thing I think of when I hear that low end rumble is a high pass filter. But before I do that, I wanna be able to loop my audio clip so I don't have to keep pulling it back while I apply this high pass filter and adjust it. So I'm going to go to the front of my audio clip by hitting the up arrow key. Just make sure your layers are toggled on so you can be able to lock onto the front of the layer. I'm gonna hit an endpoint and then go to the end of that audio layer by hitting the down arrow key. You can always turn off your video layers so you don't jump to the video layers and you just jump to the audio layers, but it doesn't take that long. Hit an out point. And now that we have that, to actually loop it, I'm gonna go over to this button editor, click this, and I'm going to come up and find my loop playback. Grab that, drop it down here, hit okay and make sure it's toggled on. And when I play my audio clip, it automatically jumps to the another. beginning and it'll just keep looping over and over so you don't have to keep pulling it back. So now that we have that looped, I'm gonna make sure my audio layer is selected again, go into my effects controls, and we're gonna type in that high pass filter. And then we're gonna drag that high pass filter down onto our audio layer, and this is what it's gonna sound like. No more wind noise, but now you have this very, very high, no bass sounding audio clip and we don't want that so we have to adjust that high pass filter so go into our effects controls and on our high pass you don't want to go higher because the higher you go you're going to lose your audio completely yep like nothing so you want to stay low i like to stay under 500 for the most part so i'm going to start at 500 and then start working my way down and the closer to get to zero the effect is no longer there so you want to have the effect there but you wanna to try to keep the quality of your audio there as well. So you just wanna mess with your high pass around 500 or lower. So on 500, this is what it sounds like. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you embrace one another. I don't really hear that wind noise anymore, not at all. So what I'm gonna do is make sure my audio layer is selected, go into my high pass, and I'm just gonna start slowly bringing it down, 450. But not encircle one another. May you embrace one another. Still don't hear it, I'm gonna bring it down to maybe even 400 but not encircle one another. May you embrace one another, but not- You can sort of hear it, so maybe I'm gonna actually bring it back up to 450. 450 is perfect. You can still hear a very, very faint amount, but I have a music track, so it's gonna cover that up completely. Now that I have my wind noise removed, another, but not and that's what I want it sound like, I also have this hiss noise. You embrace one another. You're right in the beginning, you can barely hear it. May you embrace one It's like another. this static noise. So to get rid of that background static noise, maybe from a speaker, if someone had a microphone, we're gonna go back into our effects, get rid of this high pass, and we're going to look up a D noise. So D noise. And then we're gonna grab that D noise under noise reduction and drag that onto our clip. And we can just listen to it off the start. May you embrace one another. But and now I don't hear it at all. May you embrace one another. Very, very faint, maybe just a little bit, but like I said, I have a music track here, so it's gonna cover that perfectly. You can always go into bypass, hit edit, and look through the presets and do kind of a light. But not encircle one another. May you embrace or maybe a heavy. And then you have your processing focus here. You can always just mess with some of these. This is default. You can mess with the lower frequencies, the higher frequencies, or mid frequencies or lower and higher frequencies. Whatever you wanna choose, you can kinda of just mess with all those and adjust the amount as well. And once you have it how you want it, you could always just toggle it on and off to actually hear the difference. Encircle one another. And then after. Kinda just brought down that hiss noise a little bit. You can always adjust the amount a little bit. I might just adjust it a little bit. Play but it again. Encircle one another. May you embrace one another. And then turn off what it sounded like before. May you embrace one another. Yeah, that definitely helps a lot. So after you're done that, all you have to do is you just close it and it's all set. And you can listen to it from the beginning with both your effects. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. And that sounds so much better. I don't really have that hiss anymore. I don't have that wind noise, that low rumble anymore. It sounds a lot cleaner. 
And what you can always do is just toggle off both your effects and hear what it sounded like before. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May and then what it sounds like now. May you embrace one another. So much better. So good. Now that we have that all set, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, turn off my loop, and I'm also going to just kind of clear my in and out points. Turn back on my music track and let's check it out compared to our other audio clips. Out of lack. May you embrace one another. It's a little quiet and now that I know that my music is here, I can actually adjust my high pass just a little bit. I think it's a little too high where it's really pulling those bass tones out of it. And like I said, I have my music track, so it's kind of covering up some of those wind noises. So I'm going to reduce it to 350, maybe by a whole hundred hertz. And then I'm also going to hit G on my keyboard and normalize my max peaks to negative eight, just so it's a little louder and kind of matches all my other clips. And let's try that. But not out of lack. May you embrace one another, but not in certain. Yeah, that sounds so much better. You just don't hear any of that rumble anymore any of that hiss, it sounds so much better. And it was just two effects. All right guys, that's all I got for you for this video. A couple of audio effects that will remove background noise in your audio clips. Super easy and it is game changing. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And if some of these effects really helped you, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace.